Hello! In our era, more CIS people think of moving. Many see the United States as a potential destination for themselves. Regardless of opinions, this nation still attracts many migrants annually and enhances their livelihoods. Once you've picked a country, start with the visa. But when you visit the US Immigration Service website, you're overwhelmed by unfamiliar words and abbreviations. Today I will tell you about all the ways of relocation to the USA that currently exist. I will tell you why employers in the USA never consider potential employees without an American visa. And how to get a US green card if you have neither an employer, nor investments, nor relatives in the US. Please stay with me, as I am certain that you will find a way that is not only acceptable for you, but also enables you to develop your further relocation plans based on it. Before we discuss ways to move to the USA, it's crucial to understand one thing. To move to the USA, you need a visa or immigration status. They come in two types, immigration and non-immigration. Non-immigrant visas are temporary visas that imply you will enter the territory of the states for a short specified period and then you are obliged to leave. For example, a B1B2 tourist visa, which is usually issued for a period of up to three years, but with this visa you are not allowed to stay in the USA for more than 180 days per year. Additionally, this is a student visa F1, which is issued for the duration of your course or university program. Either it's an O1 visa, a work visa or a talent visa, something in between. And this visa is issued for a period of up to three years. And of course, it can be extended, often indefinitely. But the peculiarity of migration visas is that regardless of duration of stay, whether 10 or 15 years, you will never be able to obtain a passport. Another type of visa is immigration. These visas give you the opportunity to obtain a passport in the future. You likely know this visa as a green card. Green cards are given for 10 years with the option to get a passport, usually after five years. And this is the type of visa that can be purchased for $800,000, won in the lottery, or obtained for achievements in your field of activity. Let me provide you with more information. The initial category of visas is student visas, commonly known as F1 visas. Not an immigration visa issued for the duration of your stay and study in the USA. It can be not only a university or college, it can be professional development courses or even language courses. This is a highly popular choice for relocation among young individuals, including students. I also know many cases where individuals with families have received this visa. A big plus is that not only you, but also your family members can relocate to the USA on an F1 visa. This is one of the simplest and most popular residence permits that people often use, although not an immigration visa, to switch to another type of visa. For instance, for a work visa, if you discover an employer while studying in the USA, or if you discover a significant other and choose to marry, then for the bride's or groom's green card. The main drawback of this visa is that it provides very limited right to work for the main applicant, that is the student. He can only work on campus as a rule. It does not grant work rights to family members, spouse or children under 21. Another popular way to relocate to the USA is through work visas. In fact, there are multiple visas. The subdivision and classification of workers depend on the type of worker you belong to and are affiliated with. For instance, there exists a J-1 visa for exchange workers, for academics, and for doctors. There exists an EB-3 visa. This visa is designated for high-level managers who work in branches of American companies located in other countries. However, the most popular, of course, is the H-1B work visa. If you only knew how much immigrants despise and resent this visa. Today, we will talk about the green card lottery. And please do not confuse H-1B and green card lottery but H-1B is also a lottery. In fact, this is a classic work visa with minimal requirements for the employee. As a rule, this is an offer from an American employer. Diploma of higher education and that's it. It would seem great. Finally, there is a work visa that will allow people to easily relocate to the USA and work for American employers. But no, unfortunately, there is a quota for this visa. 50,000 H-1B visas can be issued per year. And of course, there are more applications. In recent years, it has reached such absurdity that when the website of the US Immigration Service opens for accepting applications, all quotas are filled, 
the website crashes instantly and no one can submit an application for this visa properly. In the end, there are more applications than 50,000 and the lottery starts. 15 to 20% of apps as a rule are randomly chosen and get an H-1B visa. If you were unlucky and your application was not approved, let's move on to the next method. If you are lucky to have relatives who are US citizens, you can apply for a green card. In general, it's usually a spouse, parents, adult children, and even siblings who have the right to get a US green card, including brothers and sisters. The only downside is that, of course, you will have to wait for a long time. Because the code is small, the waiting time is over five years at present. If you have extra $800,000 and sometimes up to a million dollars, you can get an EB-5 investor visa. In fact, not many of these visas are issued every year, about 5,000, and this is not the most popular way to relocate to the United States, but it is a reliable path. You can invest these funds in your own, even in your own company in the United States or in another company in the United States and on this basis obtain a visa. Your funds will be meticulously and diligently examined, but if your income is legitimate and in accordance with the law, there should be no issues or concerns. One of the main advantages of this program, unlike other investor visas, for example, the European Union and the United Kingdom, this program is still open to Russian citizens. The main drawback of this method, of course, besides being very expensive, is its lengthy duration. You will first receive a temporary green card, which lasts for two years, then you will be rechecked. The entire process of obtaining an EB-5 investor visa will take about four, five years. If you have broken all your piggy banks and have not counted $800,000, then do not worry. You have a chance to win a green card. Annually, 55,000 green cards are raffled among countries with historically low immigration levels to the United States. And spoiler, the Russian Federation and other Commonwealth of Independent States countries are included in this list. By the way, in the previous year, in the year 2022, Russia achieved the fifth position in terms of the number of green cards won. 5,505 green cards won by citizens of Russia, Egypt, Algeria, Uzbekistan and Iran exceeded Russia. Thus, Russia was in fifth place. It sounds comforting, but if we turn to mathematics, the approval rate of the green card is on average about 2%. Whole 3100 percent, and not all people who win the US green card ultimately receive it because they do not have time to schedule an interview. We shot another video about it, you can watch it. You can play the lottery for a long time, you can count on winning. I personally know a family that moved from a small town in the Rostov region to LA, but they have been playing for more than 10 years. Okay, tell me, let's confront the truth. I am employed by a company from Russia. I do not have any employer from America. I don't have almost a million dollars either. I don't believe in my chances of winning the green card lottery. I'm not very lucky and damn it, I didn't marry an American. What to do in this case? Here, talent green cards, so-called, come into play. They do not require anything from the above, but they do require a certain level of achievements in your field of activity. And it can be anything. You could be a ballet dancer, a nuclear engineer, a manicurist, a product manager in a startup, or possibly even a vocalist of a pop punk band. By the way, these are all real cases. In any case, to obtain these green cards, you need to demonstrate achievements in your field of activity. And although the entry bar here, of course, is quite high, the achievements must be of a high level. You don't have to be Oleg Tinkov or Oxymiron to get it. It's important to present your professional achievements, publications, recommendation letters, and argue them correctly for the USCIS and US Immigration Service. You can apply for this visa if you're interested. For US visas, talent EB1A, EB2, NAW, contact us for free consultation. We'll assist you in assessing your chances and developing a strategy to obtain this visa. About 70,000 such visas are issued every year. And as surprising as it may sound, even considering the high entry threshold, the approval rate is average for these visas. The official approval rate of the USS Immigration Service is about 70, 80 percent. If you are a thrill seeker, you can seek political asylum. 
And this is a terribly popular way of relocating to the USA, although I personally do not recommend it and will now explain why. It appears as this, you enter the territory of the United States legally, tourist visa, student visa, for example, you can also cross the border with Mexico and apply for a visa from there. And you claim that based on the characteristics of your race, nationality or orientation, it is unsafe for you to return to the territory of your native country. Your political asylum case is being opened. You are waiting for the court. You can wait here for either many months or many years. Many people wait for both five and 10 years and you can be summoned to court at any moment. But in the meantime, you can legally live and work in the United States. And at the same time, it is very undesirable for you to leave here, especially to your homeland. And it is very undesirable to somehow use your passport. For instance, obtaining visas and so forth. If you engage in this action, it is highly probable that it will lead to a rejection of asylum nearly 100%. Trial starts. You're trying to prove in court it's unsafe to go back to homeland and prosecutor tries to dispute this. Not a very pleasant situation, but you can hire a lawyer. Lawyers on average cost about $16,000 and the official approval rate for asylum applications is currently about 50%. So like there is no guarantee here. With the same talent visas, for instance, the official approval rate is approximately 70 to 80% and they cost twice as cheaply. And in fact, very accessible to many people. We have discussed all the ways of relocation to the USA. Well, nearly everything. I somewhat concealed from you the smaller investor visas such as I2, as well as the business relocation visas like L1. But to be honest, there are very few of them. They do not work very stably. So I made the decision not to put them in a separate block. It's crucial for you to know about them in case they're suitable for you and can also be considered. Revocation question, not easy. If something caught your attention, come to us for free consultation. We will help assess the chances for a specific type of visa that may be suitable for you or advise on some other. Invest 20 minutes of your time to ultimately resolve the issue with US visas which may be suitable for you at this time and require your attention. And maybe in the future, you'll be able to develop this method and implement it in the USA. See you.